Hello everyone. I am going to talk about what I talked about on episode number one, which is porn. I thought I'd give you guys an update. It's been about three months since I did that podcast, or released it, I guess, and I just wanted to update you on my progress and my just my journey since then. And, well, it seems like after I submitted that podcast to the world, I was very motivated. I was like, wow, feels good. Everyone knows I have this problem. The first step in breaking an addiction is admitting you have an addiction, and I admitted it to the whole world, and that kind of accountability truly gave me motivation. I was like, Hundreds of people have seen this. Hundreds of people have downloaded this episode. I can't let them down. I can't let me down, but I also can't let those people down. But, I don't know, month, two months after that, I, I relapsed and fell back into the trap. And it's such an easy trap to fall into. I thought the accountability, or, or what's the right word here? Yeah, I thought the accountability that I was going to have with all these hundreds of people who have listened, that accountability in my own mind, knowing that everyone knew, I thought that would really help, and it, and it has helped, and it does help, but it hasn't been able to allow me to stop. And so, I relapsed, and I didn't tell anyone because I was kind of in shock. I was like, oh, man, you, now you've let all these people down even more, especially yourself. And I didn't really tell anyone, so I relapsed a few more times. Maybe that's not the word relapse, but maybe just failed a few more times. And then I was like, I'm sick of failing and not telling anyone. So then I told my counselor, and I told my girlfriend, and I told some others that, yeah, I failed. And it's, it is what it is. And But I, I decided... Well, I'd heard from a few friends and a few mentors that said, yeah, you should really get Covenant Eyes or get some kind of software or maybe you should not have your phone in different areas or you should get off of the internet or not allow the internet in your apartment. Or, And I was like, well, let's first talk about that second one, which is let's try to remove the internet access from you. And it's like, well, I do school from my computer, I do work from my computer, and I do this podcast from my computer. There's no escaping the internet for Harley right now. It's just not possible. So, there's th that, that part isn't possible for me. Even though that might sound like a cop-out, I'm not going to be able to do that. So I decided to actually uh, download a software called Accountable to You. I did a, quite a bit of research on these kind of softwares which send reports to other people or block certain sites and I wanted to take the approach of well I just I didn't want it to block sites from my access because then I would feel like I I wasn't the one who was deciding to see it or not the software was deciding for me if I was gonna be able to see it or not and then it didn't feel like I was making the choice to stop it felt like the software was choosing me to make the choice to stop so I I set it on the setting of it's gonna allow me to access any site or any anything online but it's gonna send reports to a person that I want as an accountability partner and I did some analysis who is going to be the most motivational for me like who on the other side of this report is gonna motivate me to not watch the most and as sad as that is or just as true as it is my girlfriend is the person who I've added as the accountability person on this report because she's the person this affects the most besides me and so I, I set her as the accountability fact uh, person, and she gets reports. Sometimes the reports are a little bit dumb in the sense that, oh no, I was 
the, a person was, I was listening to a Jordan Peterson lecture and they were talking about sexual selection when it comes to um, like psychology and sociology and biology and oh no it said the word sexual and now it's gonna send her an email saying oh no Harley is looking at something that says sexual or it even has things like I there was a swear word or two that oh no I texted my friend a swear word as a joke and it now is sending her that into a report and it's like it's a little annoying but that's okay. It's not the smartest software, but it does get the job done. It it's gonna notify her if I watch porn. I and let's see what was I gonna say. It sometimes feels like an invasion of privacy because it sends her reports of how long I've been on certain apps or whatnot and. It, it just feels a little, like, I don't know, like my privacy is being invaded. Like, what's, how is this her business that I was on my email for this long and I was on Google Chrome for this long? And it just feels weird. And, but it is what it is. And I, it's for the greater pers purpose of trying to stop this addiction. So I set up my laptop, desktop, and phone to be monitored by this software. The reason I chose this software instead of Covenant Eyes is because it's about like a third of the cost. And as someone who says he wants to be wise with money, it's like, why would I spend three times as much for something that's going to do the exact same thing? Just because it's a name brand? It's like, no, I'll be okay doing the secondary brand. That's fine. So I, I don't know, it, some of you guys might be asking yourselves, who do you trust to be that accountability partner? Like, who do I trust? Hmm, I don't know. I don't want my mom on there. And yeah, I can understand. But some older person that you respect, maybe your significant other, any of those are pretty good ideas. But if you really can't think of anyone, I'm here. If you ever need, you can send me an email. My email is the Harley Sealbinder Podcast at gmail.com. Feel free to send me, or just you could sign up with the accountability, accountable to you. Put me as a user my email I just said or my email you can find and I'll just put that in the description as well and it'll just send me reports whenever you're looking at something you shouldn't and you, know, you can do that if you want or you it might be better if it's someone you can talk with on a regular basis that would be fine too but I'm here if you need is my point and it might sound like an invasion of privacy but you're kind of invading other people's privacy by watching them when they're naked. So it's just how you define privacy, I guess. But I really, really, really didn't want to download software like this because I said to myself that I'm stronger than this. I can beat this without a software. I'm better than that. But in reality, I just wasn't. I'm not strong enough it's got too much of a grip on me and there needs to be some reduction to my freedom freedoms and there's an interesting book I read called live no lies and he was talking about the different definitions of freedom the first definition I'll explain is kinda like culture's definition of freedom today which is I'm free to do whatever I want to do, whatever I please, whenever, whatever makes me happy, no rules, nothing's going to stop me, you can't tell me anything. And then a deeper definition of freedom, which the book explains, which is, I have reduced, I've put some limitations on my freedom, I've reduced my freedoms in some ways, so that I can become more much more free ultimately and that's very true if if I'm free to watch porn whenever I want I'm not gonna be a free man that's for sure 
but if I've put on some limitations to make it way harder to watch porn, I'm a freer man. I'm freer to do things that are better for me and for the ones around me. And so that's that's kind of what really pushed me over the edge to decide you should do this, Harley. And it took a lot of convincing of myself, but I decided it's worth it. And so if any of you guys are in the same boat where it's like you feel like, ah, oh, I can beat this without that software, you may be able to, you may might be able to, but your track record might speak for itself. And addiction is really tough and like this type of drug that we're talking about, porn, it's the most accessible drug out there and it's not like alcohol where it's like, yeah, you could choose to just, it's, it's a physical thing. Oh, I could not go to a store or not go into the alcohol department. It's more, th this is just, it's available on everything and it's, it's just different. And so our brains just aren't up for the task sometimes when it comes to the addiction of a elect just a something on an electronic device that electronic device is a supercomputer and your brain is a is an ape brain and it's it's just not going to be able to fight that supercomputer and so putting up some limitations to make it give yourself a little bit more of an advantage it's really going to help so and this is another thing I was I was in such shock and I I couldn't really believe it at first that I was that I put all those restrictions on my freedoms that I even I went out to a different computer and watched porn on that because I didn't want my accountability partner to see that I was watching but I really wanted to watch then I felt even worse about the deception and so I had to tell her and it's just it's a mess even though I have all these restrictions on my freedoms I still want to push through those restrictions and get rid of them the other day I got so pissed off I wanted to watch so bad and I was like why did you put on this software Harley oh, I was getting so annoyed at myself because I just wanted that release and but that it doesn't really gain it, it, that release of watching porn isn't really going to give you much it's just it's the whole pursue what is meaningful not what is expedient it's easier said than done but what is that porn giving you it's giving you 5 minutes of pleasure and then what's it going to do afterwards make you feel tired make you feel like a loser makes you feel kind of terrible and so it's just it's not worth it when you think of it mathematically how many minutes of pleasure how many minutes of pain and it's just not worth it and but i your brain and my brain always gets in my head like it was it was saying when i first installed this software harley the last time you watched porn you weren't getting the best type of videos you weren't seeing the best things out there you could definitely see better and you know you could so you should go explore again because you're missing out and, and it's like it, that voice can be loud for me very loud and I don't know about you guys but it's gonna take a long time for me to truly beat this and I can't do it alone and I don't think you guys can either and that's why I decided to download this software and that's why I'm doing this porn update just to let you guys know that even though I had the courage to post the video out online doesn't mean I had the ability to stop yet. It's still an ongoing battle and I it's a struggle but I think together we can beat this and I hope and so yeah that's this video today I was debating doing it but I think it was worth it to record this and put it out there so it's a shorter episode, but I just wanted to update you guys on what I was thinking. I'll throw the links to accountability or accountable to you.com in the description. 
I'll even put my email in the description if you want to email me about it or you can find me on Instagram, DM me about it if you ever want to talk about this topic or some of you guys even have me on Snapchat, talk to me there, text me, call me. I'm an open book, I'm down to talk about these things. Some of you guys might be scared to tell anyone. I'm your guy, man. I know it's scary. It's You don't want to admit about it, but a lot of people are in the same boat. So admitting is the first step, and I believe in you all. See you next week. Thanks for sticking around to the end of this episode. If you found this discussion meaningful or engaging, feel free to give me a rating on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, comment on YouTube. Share this with your friends. If you found it meaningful, I'm sure they would too. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great rest of your day.